I'm Dr. Paola Sandroni. I am a staff consultant in the Department of Neurology, Professor of Neurology at Mayo Clinic, and I am the physician in charge of the nurses that perform the outpatient service of the lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture is a fairly simple test, very old, very ancient. Um, essentially what we do, we try to get a sample of the spinal fluid which bathe the brain and the cord and the spinal roots and we anal and analyze it the same way as we take a sample of blood. The lumbar puncture and spinal tap are synonymous so people may use one term or the other. The procedure is exactly the same. The test is uh, usually required to um, discern if there are certain condition um, that affect the central or peripheral nervous system um, and the most common uh, indication would be for instance uh, if there is inflammation so is there an infection if a patient has a meningitis that's the first most important test to to run um, other condition will be inflammatory disorders um, evidence of um, inflammation for instance would be like multiple sclerosis Patients are not required anything special before coming for the test. Um, we have to do most of the legwork. We need to make sure that the patient uh, um, does not have any contraindication for the test. And that's completely up to the referring physician um, who performs the test, usually review the information. If there is any concern, I get called to review the case. Uh, we need to make sure the patient is not taking medication that thin the blood that would predispose, obviously, a risk for hemorrhage. Um, and then that's uh, really all we require. Um, we tell the patient then a bunch of information after the procedure. Usually patient, uh, when they hear the word spinal tap or lumbar puncture, they freeze. They hear somebody has heard some horror stories somehow. Um, it's not the most fun procedure. It's, uh, it's a needle that goes in the back. Um, we numb the area and I think actually the numbing is part, probably the most unpleasant part of the test because it stings and burns. Then after that usually the patient feels only pressure but occasionally they may have some discomfort during the procedure. Um, the people that perform uh, this in outpatient setting that's all they do pretty much all day long, so I think they have as much experience as anyone else. They talk through uh, the whole procedure w to the patients to tell them what they're doing. Usually it goes very, very smoothly. We have a very low um, incidence of uh, headache after the LP, which is the most common complication. The results uh, of the analysis of the spinal fluid goes in the chart and the referring physician um, reviews them and takes appropriate action. So if there is any concern uh, we discuss with the referring physician and we get uh, all together to discuss what's the best course of action to perform the procedure if it's important to do so. The spinal tap can provide uh, information that's not obtainable in any other, with any other test. Uh, so we pursue it as, as safely as we can. Um, in terms of uh, the performance of the procedure itself, um, it's considered honestly a very safe, very low risk procedure, but clearly the more experienced the people that perform it, the better. And, and as I was saying before, in the outpatient setting, the people that do these procedures that's all they do and they have done more probably spinal tap than anyone I can think of. Patients are always concerned are you taking everything out? Uh, how much are you taking? Patient always seems to have concern about the quantity. Um, the amount that's taken out it depends upon the number of tests that need to be run and uh, even it, in the largest case uh, uh, scenario, the most that we take out uh, volume-wise is about 30, 35 cc. Uh, the, blood, the, uh, the body reforms that amount of spinal fluid in about two, three hours. So within two, three hours, the patient is back to their baseline volume. After the procedure is completed, we ask the patient to lay flat for about half hour. We uh, let the patient rest 
Um, we give them something to drink. It's very important to rehydrate. We encourage the patient for the following hours after the procedure to increase their normal fluid intake and drink even more caffeine. That will reduce the risk of the headache after the LP. Uh, we ask them to uh, keep take care of the site. We put a Band-Aid on at the end. We tell them to keep it on for a good four hours. They can shower, but we don't want them to soak in a hot tub or in a tub for risk of infection for at least 24 hours. And we encourage them to avoid anything strenuous for the following 24 hours.